welcome, welcome boys. In this video we're going to be reviewing this here Thunderbolt Magnum Solar 7 Watt Solar Panel Kit. Got this from Harbor Freight. Open box. $23.98. And it's only missing the little thing you plug into your cigarette lighter. But it does have the important bits. The large solar panel. Cat not included. These here clamps for the battery terminal and then this weird chargey or cell phone or tablet or something with a USB connector thingy. And we're going to test it on the BMW's battery which is the DIN, D-I-N designation on that part of battery. And the amp hours are 110. Okay now the modules are still on. I only recently unlocked the doors and opened the trunk. So we will have a wee bit of low voltage, possibly low amperage, but not a, an excessive amount. It's going to be good enough to do our, our basic test here. And we're, so we're not testing it at the battery. We're actually just going to go ahead and test it here at the car, uh, where you would jump the car. That's where the starter is. That's where you want to do our thing. So we actually have 12.02 volts. Can you even see that? There we go. Ah, you can see that. Yes, so we have 12.02 volts. Uh, actually, stand by. It is actually in the vehicle. Uh, it's going to be before charge. It's actually been sitting for an entire day. Regular flooded. We need to go DIN for the German specification. And it sounds like someone's opening my car door and resetting the computer and using more amperage than before because they're turning on the interior lights. <clears throat> so I need to go to 110. All right. Testing. That's good recharge. <clears throat> So state of health is 100%, state of charge is only 5%. 12.02 volts, 170 amp. So if that's the case, then it's actually got 60 more amps than normal. Okay. Well, we'll see what kind of uh, charging we can get out of that solar panel then. So we'll, now that we have a baseline reading here, we'll see how much power we can get into that thing. And this is our solar panel attached. Blue light is on. Solar panel is aimed up the sky. Of course it is not direct sunlight at the moment. And this is the panel attached to the battery. Positive clamp to positive. Negative clamp to negative terminal. And then we will see what happens. You may be saying, well, why aren't you charging it at the uh, the thingy up front? Yeah, I have. I considered that, but the way the sun goes up during the day, it comes up over this side of that house. And goes over that way, so it'll she'll be out for a few hours in direct sunlight. But from the back of the car, it'll hit it, so that's why we're doing it that way. And before I did put it in the sun or leave it out all day, I wondered what kind of voltage can we actually get from it. So it's in the shade now, right? It's way over there's the sun, but we're in the shade, and I got the leads attached to these clamps here. Dude, in the shade, we're getting nine volts of direct current. Isn't that freaking sick? I thought it was pretty sick. See if we unplug it. Goes to nothing, right? We plug it back. Or we affix it. There we go, nine volts. So now I wonder how much can we get in direct sunlight? Okay, so now we got it propped up in direct sunlight. Uh, red lead's already attached. It's attached to the black lead. And the survey says. Yeah. Holy shit. 22 volts. Almost 23 volts in direct sunlight. One week later. And at that revelation, we now have our battery tender because we need to make sure that voltage is nowhere near 20 something volts whilst attached to the car battery. So it looks like here what we're going to have to do is cut the wires on our solar panel. So instead of using the little plugger inner and plugger inner thing, we'll cut that connection, put the solar panel, attach it with some, uh, some little 
pilot deals. Some of these guys in here. Boom, go here, and then same thing coming out, and then we'll go to the car, and then we'll see what the voltage is. Okay, we got one side hooked up already. White for positive, the solid black one for negative. On the output, we got our two clamps here, and we went ahead and went with these little hooky ones as, as opposed to the round eyelets because these screws don't actually come all the way out. So you just put it up a little, slide that in, and then you're golden. And then these were crimped. The wire, there we go. Crimped, and then I put a wee bit of solder on there just to make sure for good measure they don't come back out. So you'd be surprised how shaky you are with the soldering iron. This early in the morning, we haven't eaten breakfast yet, so remember to always ask your surgeon if he ate breakfast before you're getting operated on. Or schedule it later in the day after lunch. All right. So we'll put this in here, and then we will uh, get it outside and test it with the meter and see what we can see. Okay, so here's what we got. We're in direct sunlight, solar panels over there. We check the input side. We have 23 volts. Check the output side here. Nothing. So let's see if it needs to be attached to a battery first. That might be be might be what we need to do let's find out okay now that we've attached this thing we do have a solid light all right i'll apologize in advance for this crappy angle but not a lot of working room in this trunk okay so bright sun's out that light's on so the check coming in It's 12.3 volts on the input. Output, 11.6. What is it at the actual car battery? 11.59 or around about 11.6. Okay, so it seems 11.6 on the output. Input's 12.3. All right, so it does seem to be working now. It actually is charging not at 20 something volts. If I disconnect one from the car battery, take one of those clamps off and we'll see. I'm guessing it's gonna go back up to 20 something. Yeah, okay, so it is working. So 20 something, when it's not attached to the car battery, I think I just bumped you guys. Now when we're attached back to the car battery. Yep, 12.3. Okay, so she seems to be working. Um, and then confirm, what was the battery? 11 point something? 11.5. Alright, we'll leave this on for a while. We'll see. We'll be back. And with the magic of editing, it'll be however long I decide to do this test, and it'll be very not so long for you and then we'll know does this thing actually charge a car battery while it's in the car especially on a bmw which uses excessive amount of electricity for the computers the following thursday okay it's now been like 10 days or so since i've had this thing on i think give or take it's still charging uh it's about 6 30 at night so the sun's way over there out of view but let's see how much what we got going on up in here um can't tell if that light's green or yellow I think it's green finally so I think it might actually be charged actually you know what I forgot to bring my little battery thing out alright hold on okay we're back I put a solar panel back inside since I'm done for the day I'm going to actually drive this car tomorrow ah Fourteen point three eight volts. Um, I guess technically this will be after charge, yes, since it's been charging. So we'll do an after charge. Nice. 
nice. Well. Okay. All right. Well, that's pretty sick. All right, so solar panel thoughts then. Um, I reckon you can charge a battery with that thing, but boy, did it take forever. Like I said, this has been like 10 days. It might have even been more than that. This I actually, I don't even remember now. I don't remember how long I've even had this thing on the charger. It has been sunny most of the time, but sometimes it's not. It's been kind of cloudy. But, I mean, I only get a couple hours of direct sunlight a day, honestly. Like, that thing pops up over there maybe, like, noon, 11, the earliest. It's gone by, like, 3, 2. I only get a couple hours of direct sunlight. The rest is just soaking up the ambient. So, I don't know, maybe your results would be different if you had it in direct sunlight. Maybe it wouldn't take so many days. I'll tell you, I, I would say, yeah, you can charge a battery with it. But I would really just use it for maintaining a battery, you know, if, I, if given the pick. I don't think it's a good idea to really rely on that to charge one because it, it takes forever. An electric charger would be much faster. But that's just my two cents on it. So, yeah, you can use the Harbor Freight one. Uh, definitely would recommend the charge controller for it. Um, and, yes, you can charge from dead. Well, it wasn't actually dead. I mean, it was... It went down to like I don't know, eleven point four, whatever the lowest uh, voltage was. So it went up, you know, well, a few volts. But in my opinion, um, it would be good for maintaining. If you drove the car after the battery has been charged by the car's alternator, then go ahead and hook up your your solar panel if you're going to not drive it for a week or something. I think that would be the best application for it. But you could theoretically charge a battery. So, all right, that is the Harbor Freight 7 watt solar charger. My review of it and testing of it. And surprisingly, it works. So, thanks for watching, guys. Peace.